Can you imagine that this video was made entirely by using text to video AI? Unbelievable, right? Because when we generate videos using any AI, the output is almost like this. But after watching this video, you can create videos like this. First, go to beta.art, then click join beta. Now you are on Pika's official Discord server. Now you can see there are many channels. To create videos, you should go to one of the generate channels here. But creating videos in these channels is a bit of hassle because many Pika users also create videos in these public channels. Then finding a video becomes difficult. To avoid this, we can create videos privately. Let's see how. Click this member list icon in the top right corner. Then click on the Pika bot. And send any message to the Pika bot like this. Now you can create videos here privately. Type slash and select the create option. Then you can create videos by typing your prompt here. But this video is not as good as I want it to be. Let's see how to make more cool videos. Pika allows users to upload reference images with its users as the starting frame. This ensures that the resulting video aligns closely with your vision. To do that, type slash and select the create option. Then you can see there's plus one more, click that and then option image will be here and now we can upload the image i'm uploading the image i generated with bit journey then type the prompt and generate now you can see the generated video is better if you are unsatisfied with the generated video, you can give it thumbs down and click regenerate button. Pika will then create a new video using the same prompt. And using the remix button, you can edit your prompt, fix errors and experiment with different ideas. Now let's see how to control camera movements in Pika Labs. First I will take zoom movement. Type your prompt and then after the prompt, add a space and type dash camera, zoom in or zoom out. Now I go with zoom in. See the created video made with zoom in camera movement. If you want to create a video with zoom out movement, you can type zoom out after the camera parameter. And at these parameters after your prompt, you can move the camera upwards, downwards, left, right, left up, left down, right up, and right down. And if you want to rotate your camera, you can add these parameters after your prompt. Now let's see how to adjust the strength of motion of videos in Pika Labs. Type your prompt and then after the prompt add a space and type dash motion space value. You can add numbers between 0 and 4 as a value. The default is 1. Pika has created a slow motion video because I set the motion value as 0. Now let's see how to change frame rates in Pika Labs. Type your prompt and then type dash fps space the value. You can add numbers between 8 to 24 for the value and the default is 24. And the higher the value, the smoother your video. Then let's talk about the guidance scale. Type your prompt, 
and then type dash gs space value. You can add numbers between 8 to 24. The default is 12. The higher the value, the more related to the text. See the created video more related to the prompt because I added 24 as the guidance scale value. Then let's try with less value. I set it as 8. And you can see the created video is more beautiful. Pick about add more things to it instead of creating exactly what I said in the prompt. Prompts tell the AI what we desire and negative prompts specify what we don't want. You can type dash neg space things you don't need in the video. Separated with commas like this. Then the pick award does not include those in your video. Let's see how to change aspect ratio. Type dash AR is best the aspect ratio you want at the end of the prompt. You can type any aspect ratio. The default did 1024 by 576. Now let's talk about how to animate images with Picolabs. Type dash and select the animation option. Then upload the image you want to animate here. Wow, you can see the Picolabs create a cool animation video using my image. Also, you can upload an image and tell the Picabot how to animate that image through a prompt. Let's see how. Type dash and select animation option and then upload the image. Then you can see there's plus one more. Click that and then the option prompt will be here. Click that. And now you can type how should the image be animated. Also you can add any parameters here like this. In Picolabs, creators can dictate where specific elements appear in a video. Using a mask, you can ensure that the elements you prompt for are placed exactly where you want them. To do this, first you should need to create a mask. You can use any drawing tool you are comfortable with. And your mask should only be in black and white. Once your mask is ready, type dash and select the encrypt image option. Upload the mask and then type a prompt and generate. See the monster, the main element of the video is in the mask area. That's cool. Also, you can use reference image with this feature as in the video. Currently, the platform struggles with generating videos when we upload reference image and mask together. You can see that created output differ from my reference image. This will be improved soon by Picolabs team. Now, let's see how to embed text in a video using Picolabs. Type dash and select the encrypt text option. Type a text you want to encrypt in the message field like this. Then type a prompt. After the prompt, you can add any parameter you like. You can see there's plus two more. Click that and then option font and image will be here. First, let's select a font. Then you can choose any font style from this and generate. Wow, it's fantastic, right? With Picolabs, we can only make 3 second videos at once. How can we make videos longer than 3 seconds like this? 
first download the video that needs to be extended using this button. Then go to finalframe.net and upload the video. Download the final frame of your video like this. Come to Pika Labs and type slash and select create. Then copy the previous prompt and paste it into the prompt field like this. Then upload the final frame of the video we downloaded as a reference image. Now generate. Now you can see this video has been created from the end of the video we wanted to extend. Repeat this process with each new clip until you have enough clip for the video to be as long as you want. Now you can combine these two video clips using Adobe Video Merger and it's free and easy to use. The videos generated by Picalabs are not high resolution. There's a solution for that. Users can upscale their videos using CapCut's free video upscaler. Just upload your video, click upscale, and then you can download it by clicking the export button. Let me tell you some tips about Picalabs. Generate a video multiple times before finalizing, as Picabot improves with repeated prompts. When you prompt, Think of explaining the scene to 5 years old boy, be clear and concise. And when you use reference image, don't describe the image. The AI can see it, tell what you want to do with it. And make sure that what you describe for animation can be done in 3 seconds. Shorter prompts often yield better results. Currently, it's ok to use PicaLab videos commercially, while AI tool is in beta. But make sure to keep the Picalabs watermark. If you have any questions, you can ask those in the comment section. And if you like this kind of videos, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.